go and investigate and find out about this significant place. I've been just done a little bit of research and I discovered that that a king and his two sons, that was this Chandi uh, for, and that's where the remains are. This here is without question is one of the most remarkable landscapes landmark in all of Thailand. And these three Chandis are often kind of silhouetted when you see any kind of advertising or promotional material about Thailand and tourism board. Let me tell you about those three Chandis behind in this whole temple area. This was the original site of the Grand Palace Ayutthaya Kingdom. But in 1448, there was a new Grand Palace built further to the north. And this place here was converted into a religious site. King Borom Matrai Lokanat passed away, his son King Borom Raja Tirat III took over the throne and ruled for three years. He too passed away shortly after his brother King Rama Tibodi II took over the throne. When King Rama Atibodi II took over the throne, he cremated the ashes of his father and his brother. King Rama Atibodi II is at the second huge Chandi and the west one was for his father, the king. This one to the west is for the father and the one in the middle is for the brother who passed away shortly after. Then later when King Rama Tibodi II passed away, his son King Borom Raja IV built another Chandi next to the two earlier to keep the remains of his father King Rama Tibodi II. It's the father and the two brothers. These are the Chandi and the remains are located. 